my worldwide hunt for the biggest, baddest river monster of all time has finally brought me to the Rhizodont. The size of a killer whale and armed with 10-inch tusks, no freshwater fish comes close to the Rhizodont's scale and power. But the world's largest reptile does. His missing limbs are the price a top predator pays to stay at the top. At 18 feet long, Chopper is three times my length. But the giant Rhizodon could have been another five feet longer. And I'm just trying to sort of calm myself down a little bit and get into proper observation mode. This giant aquatic predator deploys the same ambush strategy as the Rhizodont. And the power of that strike is rooted in the tail. It's half the body length, so on an 18-foot animal like this, you've got a 9-foot tail, and that's just solid muscle. It works in the same way as a fish's tail, and it's all about propulsion. Judging by size alone, the Rhizodont's massive tail must have packed more than twice the croc's muscle power. It's an uncomfortably close view I'm getting of the teeth and jaw of this animal. These crocs have the strongest recorded bite of any animal alive today, close to 4,000 pounds per square inch for a beast this size. A 23-foot, four-ton Rhizodont might pack more than double that. Chopper has given me a visceral insight into the awesome killer potential of this prehistoric fish. I'm starting to think the Rhizodont could even outbite the bone crusher. It's time to put this gargantuan fish in context, in Scotland, where it terrorized lakes and rivers 330 million years ago. My journey halfway around the world has given me the final information I needed to picture this river monster's general body plan and size. Now I'm trying to imagine the world that that beast lived in. Millions of years before solid ice carved out the lochs, Rhizodon stalked prey as big as a man in murky, slow-flowing waters.